Why hello and welcome to yet another episode of <gasps> Me. So what's up guys? My name is Jerry, but you could also call me your boy. Or you could always call me something like the official food reviewer. I mean, after this video, like, that title's pretty accurate, am I right? And today, I've got something pretty interesting planned. So, lately on YouTube, there's been this trend. You've probably seen it. Where these people go to the worst reviewed restaurant in their city and review it themselves. And that's exactly what I'm doing today. As you can tell from the title and thumbnail, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited for this. I mean, I'm not exactly excited to eat shitty food, but, like, for the video's sake, I'll do it. Psh, man, I'll eat anything. I'm not scared of a thing. <laughs> so without any further ado, let's just get into it. <sighs> Hopefully that was a um, cool transition. So I already went ahead and went online and did a little bit of research to find the worst reviewed restaurant near me. Because I'm prepared for once. Look at me. Look at your boy doing big things. And I'm not going to lie, it was actually kind of hard to find bad restaurants near me. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the area I live in, but like, it was it was definitely a challenge. But eventually, after hours and hours of tedious research, I found one. King Buffet Chinese Restaurant. Hell yeah. We're gonna be eating Chinese. I don't know if I like Chinese. So this place got a whopping two and a half stars on Yelp. Damn, look at you guys. Two and a half whole stars, shit. Now I know that's not the worst rating ever, but like two and a half stars is still pretty ass. And two and a half stars is still enough to make me scared to eat the food. Now the funny thing about this place is I've actually been there before. Years and years ago when I was a kid, I went to this place. And from what I can remember, the two and a half stars is pretty accurate. I'm trying to like remember this place and I'm having like war flashbacks. So what I think we should do now is take a look at some reviews on Yelp because we gotta see what the people have to say. So this person gave this place a whopping two stars. Damn, you're generous. Well, where do I start? The food on the buffet is starting to look like it's been out for hours, and if you go during dinner, they put very little crab legs out. I was charged extra for having breaded shrimp in my takeout container. One dollar, really? Very disappointing to eat here anymore. Well, damn, Sherry, being brutally honest, but that's what we need. And this next person gave this place one star, and they also left a full novel for me to read. Thank you. If there were negative stars, that is what I would give this place. We paid an extra $2 for crab legs, and every time we went up to the buffet, there weren't any crab legs on the steam table. Other customers experienced the same issue and complained. However, they still refused to put crab legs out. The other foods on the buffet were average, but clearly had been sitting on the line steam table for hours. I tried to end my dining experience with some ice cream, and as I approached the soft serve ice cream machine, I noticed there were no handles on the machine. But there was a sign that said, see the front desk for ice cream. I went to the front desk and we were given one scoop of grocery store ice cream. All in all, it was $33.98 wasted. I would have done better at McDonald's. At least there, I could have gotten real soft serve ice cream. I will never return to this establishment. <sighs> okay, just had to catch my breath after reading that uh, book. So apparently, after reading these last two reviews, this place is really lacking on the crab legs. And the person from the last review actually posted a picture just to show there is no crab legs. And they even captioned it, no crab legs just for emphasis. And this next person gave this place two stars. Limited choice of food for lunch. What was available was a small amount. Waiting for the refills, bathroom just gross with trash. Okay, so from this review I've learned that this place doesn't really have a big lunch variety and I'm actually about to go here for lunch. So that's great. And this next person gave this place one star. What a dump. Food was very mediocre, no prices posted, and the buffet with water was $14. Twice the price and half the food. Ex excuse me? Uh, $14 for this place? I, I wasn't exactly planning on like breaking my bank today, but like, gotta do it for the content. Damn it. And the last review we're gonna look at, this person gave it one star. I'm shocked. This is the worst buffet I have ever been. There was food on the wall. <laughs> okay, that kind of took me by surprise. There was food on the wall. They told us to seat ourselves. They brought us the wrong drinks. The seats were roped and torn. Okay, so from that last line, I think he's trying to say that the seats were ripped and torn. Uh, I get it. And apparently this is the worst buffet he's ever been to. And guess who's about to go there? I'm not excited, guys. So, apparently from these reviews, this place really isn't looking too hot. And, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not exactly excited to eat here. But like I said, I haven't been to this place in years since I was a little kid, so they've had plenty of time to, you know, like, clean the place up, maybe get some new recipes, improve the food, get rid of the dead bugs. 
Like, I'm sure it's good. So, I guess all that's left to do is go eat at this place. I'm scared. Hey, so I'm gonna narrate this a little bit. So since I was about to go out to eat, I really didn't want to do that alone, so I was joined by my boys Mike and Zach. Okay, so obviously I couldn't do this alone. I can't go to a buffet by myself, so I'm joined by my boy Mike. Yo. And then we got Zach in the back. What's up? And it turns out they've actually been to this restaurant before. And I think it's safe to say we're all ready for this Chinese buffet. Um, I wanted to ask you guys really quick. So you've been here before, and you've been here before. Yeah. What do you think this place is rated out of five stars? At least like, uh, at least two and a half. Okay. I would say. I was gonna say three. Three? Yeah. Well, I mean, you were right, two and a half. Oh wait, it, actually? Yeah, it's two and a half stars. And then it was finally time to go inside. Just looking at this place from the outside, it looks nice. And then as soon as you walk in the front door, you're greeted by leaves on the floor, which isn't like a big deal or anything, but like, why? So as soon as we walked through the door, we were greeted by this lady, and she was actually super nice, and she walked us to her table, so that was like a nice first impression. But besides that, the first thing I noticed was the place was completely dead. There was maybe two other people there, tops. And then we made our way over to the food. So just looking at the food on the buffet, some of it actually looked decent, but to me, most of it kind of looked like ass. And I know this was a Chinese restaurant, but like of course they still have like American things in the buffet. So of course I had to get some french fries, onion rings, pizza, like some traditional American foods. And it turns out the onion rings were actually bomb. Like I give that a 10 out of 10. And the fries, probably like an 8 out of 10. Still pretty good. But when it came to the pizza, hell no. I would not recommend that pizza to anyone. I took one bite of the pizza and I thought I was gonna croak. So pretty much all the food that was set out on the buffet looked pretty dry. And then when you would eat it, you would find out actually it was dry. And I guess that's because it's just kind of like sitting out under a lamp for hours. And then me and my boy Zach found the octopus. Okay, so this is octopus? Octopus. Okay. So me and Zach are gonna try the octopus. Oh. Oh, that mm. was like the smallest bite. Mm. Oh, I put the entire thing in my mouth. That is uh That's like rubber. Is it old. chewy? I don't this was like some deep fried octopus and like I never thought I was gonna actually eat octopus and I guess technically I didn't exactly eat it. So yeah, that was f***ing gross. So hands down the grossest thing at the buffet was this. What the f*** is this? But my friend Mike was actually brave enough to put one on his plate and he was gonna eat it. And he was this close to eating it until he took a closer look at it and he was like... Nah, like I, I can't do that. And then I went ahead and did a little bathroom check. So from the reviews on this place, I was expecting this bathroom to be absolutely disgusting. But as you can see, it really wasn't that bad. It was pretty much just your average public bathroom. So, I mean, like, a little gross, obviously, but, like, just a bathroom. I mean, besides whatever that is. That kind of freaks me out. But I do gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised by the countertops in this bathroom. Okay, so now let's get into my final thoughts. Overall, this place really wasn't dirty. The bathrooms were okay. Like, the, the booths, the tables and everything looked pretty clean. I mean, I did notice a couple minor things, like the ceiling tiles around the place were just kind of, like this, but like that's really not a big deal. But the main thing I gotta talk about with this place is the food, because this is a restaurant. The food, I'm gonna have to go ahead and give it like a 4 out of 10, because in my opinion there really wasn't anything that was like good, besides maybe the onion rings, okay, I'll give the, I'll give the onion rings some props. But with everything else I ate, it was just kind of like, oh this isn't that bad. So overall for this place, the review online was two and a half stars, and I'm gonna have to agree with that. Like this place wasn't terrible, but like, I would be fine never going back. Ever. And you know what? That just about does it for my review. Honestly, I had a lot of fun making this video. I mean, plus I got to eat food. I mean, the food was ass, but like, I still got to eat. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, because why not? And go ahead and let me know in a comment below if you would like to see me do this again with another poorly reviewed restaurant. Well, let me just say thank you all so much for watching this video. I will see you all again soon, but until next time, peace. Wow. Does it look good? It looks amazing. Are you going to be a hashtag? the lighting. What?